Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So you notice that I have a different background today and I'll tell you why. Because my neighbor, who likes to work out in the yard, uh, which I wouldn't normally notice because I would be at work and he would be at work and he'd probably be at the gym, is playing some very loud techno music. And uh, normally I don't think that would bother me well, it would after a while, but I don't want to get copyright flagged because of his music. And so if I go in the bedroom, then I have to hear my neighbor whose TV is too loud. So please forgive any background noise. So today I want to talk to you about something that is shopping related, not really scent related. And it is quarantine beauty. And I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're saying to yourself, Scent Maven, you are looking spectacular today. Yes. No, I am not because a lot of people have been asking me how I've been getting my nails done and I have not. I have not gotten my nails done in well over a month. I've already broken one. I've broken two, glued them back. And if you look at them really close up, you can see that there is a huge gap here. And my nails are actually, um, they are this long. They are this length. But when I break the tip or the acrylic, my real nail is fragile and whatever and just peels off. So anyway, I have to do something about my nails. So I was thinking to myself, I wish I could find like a private manicurist or somebody that works independently where I could go to their house and they could fix my nails because they look so horrible. I can't stand them anymore. They look terrible. Look at this one. Uh, they look terrible. I can't stand the color anymore and they're really annoying. I can't type with them and I want them off or shorter or fixed. But then I thought to myself, I can't go see a private manicurist because even if I had my nail tech's um, home number, I can't go to her house because I don't know, you know, if she's sick or anybody in her family's sick and I'm not going to, you know, risk my health or endanger my health to go get my nails done. So I've decided that I'm going to attempt to do beauty on my own. Oh, it's going to be scary. So this is going to be a multi-part video, which I'm going to edit together. Oh, I just feel like stretching. Multi-part video. Now, if you go on Amazon and you try to buy fake glue on long nails uh you'll probably see that they don't ship until the end of may or whatever so i happen to be going out to cvs which i forgot my reusable bag so they gave me this i had to go to cvs and because people doubt whether I'm going out for essentials or not, because they just are. I had to pick up meds. And while I was picking up meds, I was out of my vitamin C. And they had a really good deal on vitamin C. They had the extra super value jumbo size of the gummies. Um, $14.99. Buy one, get one free. And this helps boost your hum your human your human system, your immune system supports a healthy immune system. So I've been trying to take the vitamin C. You take two gummies a day and they taste really good. So easy to remember to take those. So I was there getting that and I want these nails off. So I looked in the fake nail section. Oh, and I, I picked up some some shave gel while I was there. I know I usually pick this up at the Dollar Tree and I did, but then my friend who came over to drop off stuff, um, he said to me, oh darn, I don't have any shaving cream. Cause I was like, what happened to your face? Why haven't you shaved? And he said, I don't have any shaving cream. So I said, here, you can have my shaving cream. Cause I buy the men's anyway. So I bought this, it was like $2 and something, but I think this is more ounces than the one in the Dollar Tree. So I got myself some fake nails. I say that to say I'm going to soak off my fake nails, which I got some extra. They had a deal. They had a deal on the nail polish remover was like buy one, get one 50% off. And I already have nail polish remover, but I don't, I didn't know if I had enough 
or how long I'm gonna have to be doing my own nails. So I picked up some extra polish remover. Then I picked up, I will show you the fake, I'll show you the fake nails I got. Um, I picked up this uh, handy dandy Beauty 360 kit because I, I only have like two of these things. I only have like, I only have like this thing and like the nail clipper thing. I don't know what TV show my neighbor is listening to. Anyway, so this is the six piece essential mani pedi kit. And so there's your cuticle pusher, your um, clipper for your no toenails and your fingernails and your uh, scissor and your buffer and all of that. So, cause I am going to have to push my cuticles back, even though I think they're, they're pushed back, but they're still pushed back. But anyway, I, I figured I'd get this. So then I picked up some fake nails. I wanted to get long fake nails, not super long. Although if you guys have seen the Cardi B uh, PSA for the census, where she has these long, enormous teal nails, I would love to have those nails. If I never had to type all day, every day for my job, I would so want those gigantic nails. But anyway, I can't do that. I wanted long nails. They had short and they had medi medium. So I got these. Um, these are the pointy shape. I don't know. They say 644 on them. So I thought I was getting a deal, but that, apparently that's some kind of code. They were actually 899. So they're this um, maroon kind of blood color and nude color with some accents there. So this is from the um, Bring the Salon Home Kiss brand gel fantasy ready to wear. It says amazing gel look, ultra smooth finish, 24 nails with mega adhesive tabs and glue included. I'm going to be using my own glue because um, I, I know everybody uses like crazy glue or super glue, whatever. They break anyway. So I got this set and then I also got this set which is like a square tip and it's gray and it has like these sequin accents and it's the same deal 24 nails blah 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 so i got that i happen to have which i haven't used it yet um i have vitamin e oil um that i had bought previously this i actually got from my pug malcolm for his nose because his nose was getting dry and the veterinarian recommended rubbing a teeny bit of um vitamin E oil if his nose got dry. And actually after I went there to the vet, his nose wasn't dry anymore. So I ended up not using these, but I can use them on my nails for my cuticles uh, and all that. So these were, I think these were buy one, get one free. Um, when I got them, these are marked 959. This is a dietary supplement. It says support antioxidant help pure enough to swallow. I don't know if I'd be doing that. I'm just gonna be using them on my nails. So now let's get to my hair. Okay. Now, normally I don't dye my own hair. I'm getting gray, lots and lots and lots of gray. Oh, that looks even more scary. Let me put this back on. So I'm getting lots and lots of gray. Uh, yeah. So bandana from the Dollar Tree, by the way. So I, I do dye my own hair. Not all the time. Usually what I do is I buy the dye and I go to my um, hair person and pay her 20 bucks and she dyes my hair for me. And she usually cuts it too. For real cheap. If you give her the dye, she will dye and cut your hair for like $20, $25, depending on how long your hair is. Mine is about up to here. So I usually have her do it, but all the beauty salons are closed. So I'm going to have to dye my own hair. Now, normally I pick a very dark, dark indigo purple color, which kind of looks black in certain lights and then looks purple in certain lights because, you know, for my job, even though I would like to have bright purple hair, uh, it's not really professional. So I didn't see that kind today. And I figure since I'm working from home, I'll be a little more daring. So I picked up this hair dye. God knows how this is going to come out. And this is from the Got To Be brand. And it says... Uh, selfie ready with metallics it says head turning radiance for all hair textures and this is amethyst chrome it says number m69 amethyst chrome so let's see if my hair comes out that color i mean 
on the back of the box, you can see the difference. I'm hoping to get a good purple uh, color because like I said, I'm home. So really who cares except for my pug. So anyway, yes, I'm going to conclude the video now for the moment. Uh, and tonight I think I'm going to try to soak off my nails and you know, I should probably leave this stuff out. I know I'm making horrible rustling noises. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to do my nails tonight. I'm going to attempt to do them. There are a lot of how to videos on how to do your own nails and I am just not gifted. I'm lucky I can dye my own hair and I don't even think I'd do that right. I don't think I get it, you know, get all the spots. That's why I have it professionally done for the 25 bucks. And then plus on top of that, I don't have to worry about getting any drops of um, dye on my clothes or my bathroom or anything like that. So I'm going to attempt the nails tonight. Maybe I'll attempt the hair tomorrow because I think it'd be too much of a project to do all at one time. And then I'll continue with the video and we'll see. We'll see what horribleness I do to my nails. Uh, here's the before. Let's remember the before with the chip and the crack and the horrible uh, gaps here. Um, yeah, so even though my nails are this length, um, most of them are. The Most of my nails are, the, are this length. Some of them are a little shorter because I've broken them at various times, but they're gonna get significantly shorter um, because like I said, I could only get the medium length nails and I feel naked without my long nails. But anyway, we'll try it and we'll see what happens because I just can't stand these nails anymore. So now I'm, I'm going to do a, a Dollar Tree video or record something else, but I will check back with, in, with you later with my nail progress. Okay, so this is step one. I took off all my nails, cut them all down, and buffed them out. So, these are the shortest and most natural they've looked in a while. And now I'm going to get ready to cover them up. I gonna, I, I'm going to, I put some vitamin E on them. And now I'm going to see how these fake nails look. Okay, so I'm done with my nails. This is how they came out. Um, they don't look too bad. That's, that's one hand. And it's the other hand. So for a fake nail job, I guess it'll hold me through. We'll see how long they last. Okay guys, so it's time to dye my hair. Can you see the gray? You can't really see the gray unless you look real close, but whoa, just dropping my glasses on the floor. Ugh. Okay, so my hair is not gonna dye itself. So I did find a place to put that yum thing that I bought from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so Time to dye my hair. Hopefully, when this is done, it's going to look, I'm not going to look like her, but hopefully my hair will be that color. Hoping to get it super, super purple. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so roots first and then ends later. Okay, so my hair is done. It kind of looks purple. It really kind of looks purple. Uh, I don't know if I got all the areas. It looks black in some spots. It looks purple in other spots. I don't know. We'll have to see when it dries how it looks. Okay, guys. So I'm showing you super close up how my hair came out. So you can see the roots came out a lot. A lot lighter. There goes my glasses. Then the rest of my hair. It's still purple, but it has to really be in the light for you to see the purple. Can you guys see the purple? It really depends on the lighting. I know it's super purple on top where the gray was. And now, yeah, if you see it from far away, 
it's hard to see the purple. Oh well. Hey guys, so I'm again trying to avoid my noisy neighbors. Now in this light, you definitely cannot see the purple and it definitely, definitely does not look like the box. I don't know. You, Malcolm is making noises. Okay, the lighting in here is really bad, which is probably uh, a bad time to show you uh, this new palette that I picked up since we're talking about beauty. I happened to pick up the Wet n Wild uh, palette, the Pride Metallic palette. This is for Pride Month, which is in June, and it is really, really beautiful and you can't see any of it you can't see any of this in this horrible lighting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save that for another video and show it to you probably in a you know another haul video or something but this was my little attempt at beauty so here are my nails again as you know for for glue on press on nails um they're not so bad um i think they came out pretty well you know what am I going to do? It's better than those chipped, horrible nails that I had before. So tell me how you're doing with your quarantine beauty. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.